Vocabulary 6. Hi, my name is Sonia Berger and you are watching the Best My Test TOEFL Vocabulary video series. Our focus today is the environment. Our first term today is greenhouse gases. Now I have to warn you, I am no artist, but I have tried my best. What are greenhouse gases? Well, they are gases like CO2, carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide. And why is it important that we should know about them? Let me explain. This is the sun. It's not entirely round, but use your imagination. The sun emits solar radiation. Some of this radiation reflects off the atmosphere. Some of it reflects off the earth. But a lot of that solar radiation is absorbed by the earth and it warms up the earth and that's why we can live here because it's warm enough. The earth on its part emits infrared radiation. Some of it um, goes out through the atmosphere but quite a bit of it is trapped in the atmosphere by greenhouse gases. And that's also fine because we need that heat as we've just established. But when the greenhouse gases become more and more and they trap more and more heat, the earth heats up slowly and that is obviously very problematic. Now what do we do that causes the emission of greenhouse gases? Well, we burn fossil fuels and we have factories that emit gases and we engage in agricultural activities. I want you to use your imagination. That's a tractor. Yes, that blank spot, that's a tractor. So cattle farming, for instance, causes a lot of emission of methane because the cattle um, release it from their wrong side. So that is an explanation of greenhouse gases. Let's look at a sample sentence. Fossil fuel-based electricity generation produces the largest share of greenhouse gas emissions. Closely related to the term greenhouse gases is the term carbon footprint. A carbon footprint is the total set of greenhouse gases emitted by an industry, a business, an event, a person or a product. And it is expressed in equivalent tons of CO2. In other words, it doesn't matter whether your activities are releasing nitrous oxide or CO2 or methane, it will be expressed in equivalent tons of CO2. So what can you do to reduce your carbon footprint? Well, if you can avoid it, do not fly. Rather take your bicycle or take public transport than driving a car and use solar energy instead of fossil fuel generated electricity if you can. Those are just three things you could do. There are many more. Here is a sample sentence that illustrates the use of the term carbon footprint. Greater carbon footprint sensitivity amongst consumers has forced companies to measure the carbon footprint of their entire supply chain. Our next two words are conserve and conservation. To conserve something means to preserve it, to keep it as it is. So nature conservation means to keep the natural world in its original state as it was. Here is a sample sentence that illustrates the word conservation. Conservation ecologists are concerned with the preservation and management of natural systems which are deteriorating rapidly across the globe. Our next word is habitat. A habitat is the natural home or environment of an animal, plant or organism. The habitat sustains the animal, plant or organism by providing food, shelter and the right living conditions. However, if you start degrading that habitat, the habitat, the home, can no longer sustain the animal, plant or organism. Listen to the following sample sentence. Pristine streams provide diverse habitats for crabs, insects and fish. Agricultural and industrial pollution threaten these sensitive habitats. 
Our last two words are deteriorate and deterioration. Deteriorate is a verb and it means to become gradually worse. And deterioration is the noun that we use to refer to that state of becoming gradually worse. For instance, when a habitat deteriorates, it becomes gradually worse. Here is a sample sentence. In the short term, severe wildfires can lead to soil erosion, the deterioration of soil structure and loss of soil nutrients. Time to say goodbye. If you want to know more about TOEFL vocabularies or TOEFL practices, go to the Best My Test website www.bestmytest.com. Goodbye.